people do think that penguins should be only found in the Antarctic, but oddly enough, there are very few penguins that are really truly Antarctic species. In fact, you could argue only two, emperor penguins and adelie penguins. They're well adapted to the Antarctic cold. And of course, most people think of those because they're the ones that, uh, those are the species that often appear on public television. If you've gone to the movies and seen March of the Penguins, you've watched a film about emperor penguins and living in the inhospitable winters of Antarctica. So that's why we think of penguins as Antarctic. But really, the majority of penguins are found in temperate regions. Penguins are found in such often remote, inhospitable, or difficult places to get, we don't really know how many penguins there are of most species because they have not been well counted. It's just not been a priority for governments, for non-governmental organizations, or for even individual scientists that get crazy about knowing some of these things. Certainly there are some colonies that have hundreds of thousands of penguins. Um, the colony that I work at uh, on in uh, Argentina has Magellanic penguins, and there are over 200,000 breeding pairs. So that's a lot of penguins. And we know how many penguins are there because we've done such a careful job of surveying the colony. Depending on the colonies that you look at, obviously taking away penguins' food is going to have an effect on a penguin. It's kind of like if you lived, and I know undoubtedly most people don't, but if you lived almost solely on fast food, so you ate you know, McDonald's, Hamburger, Burger King, and things like that, and you had two restaurants in your neighborhood, and that's where you went to get your McDonald's, Hamburger, or your Burger King, and both of them went out of business, or they moved, what would you do? The only way the world changes is if people change it, and we're really responsible for changing the world to make it better for the other species that inhabit the world. And penguins are one of those that I hope we make the world better for. So what people can do, for example, is if you're gonna eat small fish, like anchovies and sardines, eat them. Eat the whole sardine or the anchovies, but don't eat them as chicken or as farm-raised salmon or as pigs, because that's where most of our fish meal goes to, to raising chickens, pigs, and farm-raised salmon. I want those small anchovies to either go to feed penguins or to feed people. I think, you know, I'm excited whenever I get to come to zoos or aquariums because you have ambassadors for penguins and penguins need ambassadors. The only way the world changes is if people change it. And we're really responsible for changing the world to make it better for the other species that inhabit the world. And penguins are one of those that I hope we make the world better for.